we read an archer exerts an average horizontal force of 55 newtons on her bow and arrow system in pulling the string back. Now when you pull back on that string, it takes effort and you have to apply a force. It's like lifting a heavy stone against gravity. But here you're working against an elastic force. The archer is system A. She had her Wheaties this morning. She has energy and is able to do work. And the bow and arrow system now gains energy from the work that she that was done. It is system B. It gains elastic potential energy, stored energy, and it will be able in turn to do work. Now it's hard to keep that arrow in place. It's like holding a heavy rock above the earth. The rock wants to fall down, and here the string wants to be released. And when you do release it, the bow and arrow system does work on the arrow. The arrow becomes system C, it gains energy, and goes off at a high speed at a great distance. Now look, we apply this force times distance to this string. And system A then, or the archer, does work FD joules, loses FD joules of energy. But now this bow and arrow system is able now to do work on the arrow when the string is released. And the stored elastic potential energy of the bow and arrow does force times distance on the arrow and increases its kinetic energy. And we have the work energy theorem. Now here, the arrow starts from rest. So we can write, ah, FD, the work it does, half mv squared. And then we put in the numbers. We find out that the force through the distance, what is this work done? Well, it's 55 times 0.350 meters. It equals one half times 0.350 kilograms times the velocity squared. So we solve very simply for the velocity and we get 10.5 meters per second. Now it says that the target is 10 meters away. Now, there's very little resistance on the arrow from the air, and that's because of its design. And once in the air, its inertia carries it along. And at 10 meters, it's pretty much the same speed with which it left the bow. And it will continue at that same speed until it hits the ground.